Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to X Plane Eleven. Welcome back to the Twin Otter. Welcome back to another co-pilot share with Andy. Andy is there in the Discord. Hello, Andy. Evening all. How are we? Hopefully his volume is good. You guys can let me know uh, in oh, a boy. second. Uh, so yeah, this is the same flight we tried last week when I was having a meltdown in X Plane Eleven, where it kept turning to night. <laughs> it does seem to be okay. Anyways, I verified my files and all the rest of it, but yeah, simple on and off did the job. We're going to attempt the same flight again, basically. That's what we're going to do. So we're, we're leaving, uh, where are we? Stonewall? Where are we? Hey, we're in Stornoway. Stornoway to Barra, our first flight, and then Barra to Tyree, our second leg. So I will be doing the startup procedures to start with, taking off. Andy will land on the beach. Andy will take off on the beach, and then I will finish up with the landing on the second airport, Okay. That is the plan for this evening. So we've got a bit of competition between me and Andy. So I'm hoping that Andy fluffs his so it makes mine a little bit easier. This is not the easiest plane to land. Uh, volume is five out of five. Volume is good. Hello, Gil. Welcome. Uh, hello, Kevin. Uh, hello to all the members of mods and everybody in the chat. Uh, Will James, nice to see you back. Uh, Glenn B. I know Glenn B is currently over the air somewhere as well. Spaghetti Raver, hello, mate. Andy Pandy. Andy Pandy is here. Scott Bremer, hello. Uh, I'm surprised Kurt's not here to listen to your voice, sir, Andy. I haven't seen Kurt yet. Uh, I know, Ryan. I know. In fact, I'm just going to message him right now. <coughs> Hello, Ryan. Uh, he's completed a couple of uh, flights now on the VA as well, so well done to you, Stephen Bradley. Uh, Main Streets is here as well. Who else is here? Adam Hay. Adam Hay, are you that bored that you're watching planes now? <laughs> the smaller planes can be a little bit more fun, I think. The shorter flights up and down, so there's a lot going on, is hopefully the, the idea. Uh... Anyone worth anything? 60% of all PC problems are fixed by restarting. Well, Glenn Bixley, hello. And you could have told me that on the stream. <laughs> Looking forward to the other flight. Yeah, so here we go. We're in the twin order. Um, so look, let's get straight into the aircraft. So I'm going to do the majority of the startup on the first leg. Uh, once we land, we will park. I probably wouldn't say we'll probably just feather the engines while we reset the navigation unit. Uh, and then Andy will probably take off again instead of cold starting the whole thing again. Um, so yeah, Scott is here for Andy's voice as well. <laughs> Adam's got nothing to do. Yeah, poor Adam. Only what, two days left, Adam, hey? What's the, what's the must be the, what, the 9th of February now? What is it, the 7th? Oh, okay, you've got a couple of days left, mate. Um, Super Bowl Sunday as well. So, look, uh, this is gearing me up for my Super Bowl, so hopefully we're going to have a fun flight. Okay, guys, so we're going to go straight up the top here, and uh, we won't be using any external power. Actually, what I should do is our fuel. How much fuel do you think? Should I just fuel for the first leg, and then you can fuel for the second leg? Yeah, that's fine. We'll just feel for that, and then we can we can check it. I don't think it'll take too much. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Okay, get rid of the checklist. Don't want that. Okay, so let's fill up the aircraft with some peoples to make it a bit more interesting with the landing. Okay, <clears throat> center of mass is not great. Uh, we can put some fuel in the front. Bit of fuel in the back. How much fuel have I got so far? Oh, fuel, 368 kilograms. Ooh, is that going to be enough? I don't know. Ah, there must be plenty. Yeah, we'll say that's probably... Oh, no, that's just the payload still. Okay, that's that's cargo. Not too interested in that. Yep. Take a bit of cargo. Uh, Fuel-wise, we got plenty of fuel. Sitting around yeah, the 29. Be... I, think that, I think that'll get us the first. It's only about 30 minutes, isn't it, or so? Okay. So, look, let's go back up the top then, guys. Uh, I will get to the chat as soon as I can. Okay, so we're going to flick on the battery. It should turn on all the electronics here on the aircraft. We need to turn on all our radios. Real life, you would do this after engine startup, the avionics, but according to uh, the manual, you have to do it now. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. <coughs> okay, so that's kind of all set up. Uh, Andy, do you want... Oh, actually, no, I'll fill that in a second. Um, okay, so what we are going to do, I'm just going to bring the props back to Feather, ready for startup. Uh, we can come up here. We can play around with some lights now. I move up a little bit more. Uh, fasten seatbelt. I've got like no volume on my aircraft. Is that normal? Maybe because I turned Remember it all... Remember you turned it all down earlier because it was screaming at you? Uh, there you go. Get a bit of volume in. I... There you go. Well, we've got some volume. <laughs> I can hear it a little bit. Okay, we'll turn up the dimmers. There we go. Uh, everything else is kind of okay for the second. Uh, we can test all our emergency lights. And uh, we can test our caution lights. I want you dim, test. 
Uh, there you go. All caution lights have become active. Throw that back to bright. Okay. Uh, we can arm the emergency lighting and the general entrance at this time. Okay, we're pretty good actually to nearly move guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in the, uh, the nav. So we're going to be doing a direct to... Where's my arrow? There he is. E.G. E. Both Papa Romeo. G G G G. I'm way far ahead hit. Uh, e. Chavy ah. accent, Scott. Uh, there's nothing chavy about me. Chav. <laughs> uh. Ah, Barra Beach, activate. Yes. Okay. So we're going to activate that. Uh, I'm going to put in our approach here now. We're just going to program it so it's all ready to go. We're going to press select approach. We are taking the 2.5 RNAV, correct? Uh, correct. And we're taking Dimdo as our yep. transition. Yep. Okay, so all we're going to do, guys, is load. It's very important you only press load at this stage. Okay, so that's fine. We will be taking off from, uh, was it 3.6? Yep, 3.6 is where we're taking off from. Okay, there's the navigation set up. Okay, our cruising altitude today will go up to, what, 7,000 or 8,000? Yeah, seven sounds good. We'll we'll not probably not be up there for too long before we have to come back down to three one. Okay, so five, six, seven. So guys, you gotta make sure you activate this. This is just an alarm. People think this is your altitude. This is just the alarm. So we'll we'll actually sound the the alarm. So this will flash when we're a thousand away. So we know. Um, this is not how you set your altitude. Your altitude is set uh, by this bad boy here. Okay, so don't forget that. Okay, uh, very quickly, Ross Farrelly. Hello, mate. Welcome. Don't tell Robo that he'll take Chavi as a compliment. <laughs> Let's call him the more merry queen of Scots. I uh, saw that. I, I'm just <laughs> getting ready to... Uh, it's unfortunate I can't boot other mods out of the chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuel fuel boost will go on here now at this point, guys. Um, and obviously, whatever you might be squawking to, we don't have a squawk, because I'm not using any ATC, but we'll just make one up just for realism. We're currently on the ground. That's fine. We will not be using ILS, so we're okay with this for the moment. We will be using RNAV. Um, like I said, Andy will be doing the first landing, so the pressure is on. Okay, other than that, guys, uh, we're actually uh, we're actually <laughs> we're actually ready to put some engines on here. Okay, so we're just going to put the fuel. Yep. Oh, for God's sake, these levers can be a pain in the ass. One looks like it goes on more than the other. Anyways, let's not worry. Yeah, uh, we're going to set flaps to ten. About ten-ish, uh, and then over here, uh, very you can DM me. Why did my engine igniters not go on? It's like changed since the other day. Whoa, my green screen's just fallen down on me. Thanks to the dog. Thank you, dog. You can DM me whatever you want to say, Curtis. Okay, let's uh, let's just move that forward a little bit. Let's just make sure engine one is going to light. We want this to come up and down, get the pressures correct. <coughs> oh, cat as hard is here. I want to say nice things about, but it would probably demonetize the video. <laughs> Airbus throttle, dis despite a few issues, is great. Yeah, but, but it's a new bit of kit, so give it a little bit of time, and I'm sure it'll be really, really good. Okay, that's engine one started. We will now go straight to right engine. Now, like I said before, this should taxi on one engine in real life, but it doesn't work on the game. It just goes around in circles. Um... I believe that my green screen has moved so much that it's now affecting the screen. Hang on. Yeah, you look fine to me. It looks, it looks spot on. <coughs> there you go. I can see it wasn't quite looking right. Okay, now that is on. Wait for myself to come back on the screen so I can see myself. There we go. Uh, okay, so at this point now, bleed air will need to go on. And uh, we do need to reset the generators. Make sure that they're working fine. Uh, we will turn the de boots to automatic. Uh, and prop de ice we're just going to throw it on here for this moment in time. That is all on. Uh, strobe lights are still off for the minute. We can throw on our taxi lights as we're ready to taxi, I believe. Anti-collision lights obviously need to come on and flight lights there. Okay. We still have one warning. Good. Our generator didn't reset. Okay, hang on. There we 
There you go. All warning lights are off, guys. Uh, who else is here? Inside is orange. Yeah, I've gone really orange. That's what I mean. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Something's you changed. Went for a cheeky wee sunbed earlier. Yeah, I don't know what happened. As soon as the dog knocked out the green screen, it's made me go orange. I don't know what the hell's happened. <clears throat> I think we'll just have to take that I'm orange today. I really can't work it out. It's not that. No. God. Yeah, not entirely sure why I'm orange, but I am orange. There we go. Okay, so we're good for taxi. So what we're going to do, we're going to take off. I'm going to stabilize our flight level with the trim. So once we hit about a thousand feet, we're going to stabilize the speed and then we're going to use the IAS to control our altitude speed for our climb. Uh, then Andy will take over for landing. And uh, yeah, jobs are good. In. Okay, let's, uh, let's move the feather forward a little bit. Might have been a bit too much. Looks good for me. Okay, park and brake released. Let's go for taxi, guys. And uh, yeah, I've been on the sunbed, obviously. <laughs> Auditioning for Terry, or uh, the Irish equivalent. Is this the plane you have to start out with? This is one of the aircraft you can start with yet. Yeah. Good fun. I really enjoy. I'm really enjoying flying this one. Why are we not moving? Did I not release the parking brake? Okay. Yeah, I did. Try it with your... Um, are you doing it with your controller button? I'm just moving the, the prop up a bit more. Here we go, this is where the issues now start, eh? the hell is going on? It's, um... Try that. Whoa! What was it? That's it. It was my... I My brake button must have been active. Sorry. That's it. Andy's stitching me up. Make me look like a fool already. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Taxi lights are on, aren't they? A cars is set. His hair looks real. I don't have much hair left. Quite a few pilots flying tonight. Yeah, there's quite a few of us out, which is good. Tell Andy to get out and push. Well, it was actually Andy that had his brake on, which was causing the problem, obviously. Yeah, I'm just trolling, you know. Um, I am, I'm pretty annoyed that I'm orange. I don't know, what the hell has happened since the screen fell down? I don't get it. I don't think it's the lighting. You want to watch where you're going rather than watching what colour you are? <laughs> uh, that's... Yeah. Uh, how's the screen for you, Andy? Are you getting any jogging or jilting or anything? Yeah, it's a little bit worse. I'm guessing because you're streaming, it's using a bit more of your bandwidth with yeah. your um, potato internet. Must be. Auditioning to be a Loompa Loompa for the next Chocolate Factory play. Yeah, it's uh, really weird. It's kind of annoying me as well. I, the only thing that's in front of me is a can of Fanta, but that can't be glaring my whole body orange. I'm sure of that. I could be wrong. Could be completely wrong. Okay, we're not going to taxi all the way down to the bottom of the runway. I don't think we need to, do we? Not for this one. Nah. Take good. Uh, feet to get this thing off the ground. So once we take off, it will be straight out to the left. Uh, to capture our navigation, hopefully. Uh, Andy, do you want to just to change over from uh, put our strobes on and turn off, put on our landing lights and turn off our taxi lights? Okay, so flaps are set to 10. Are the lights done, Andy? Yeah, yep, everything's done. We're ready to go. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to turn up my feathering now. The max RPM, which I forgot yep. to do earlier. 
Uh, Oompa Loompas are creepy. Oh, it's just got very dark all of a sudden on my screen. <laughs> that worries me. Okay, guys, uh, we're good for takeoff. Everything's set. Uh, so we're set for 7,000 feet. Uh, yep, yeah, everything is good. 40%. Pick up that speed nice and gradually. Now this does move a lot, guys. Yeah, it's uh, quite difficult to control. Yeah, we have air movement. Whoa, air movement one way. <laughs> okay, over 60 knots. Once we hit the 80, 60. I'm going to rotate. And rotate. It, it, it. Oh, is it that windy? Jesus Christ. Oh, this is going to be a fun landing. Can you feel that already? Oh, jeez. You know, start flaps up. Yeah, this is uh, not too easy to control. Okay, we're going to wait till we pass here, and then we're going to start making our quick turn. Okay, we need to trim up. I'm just trying to use the trim to control the aircraft a little bit. Make our turn here. Hopefully there's no mountains. There's a pretty big hill in front of me. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try and level it off now, guys. Uh, and build some speed. I know we're not very high yet, but we need the speed. Once we hit about 120, we're going to touch the IAS. Still pitching up a little bit. Okay, so how this navigation stuff here works, once we get our speed that we're looking for, we're going to press the IAS and we're going to engage the autopilot. So you have to press the gauge, IAS, that's now going to bring the aircraft wheel speed back up, don't worry, it'll sort itself out in a second. We want the altitude alert on. Let it just kind of go crazy for a minute and we will also hit nav. And it'll now start going hey, I've towards... Just put, I've just put... I've just flicked over into GPS because it was on uh, uh, VLOC. I forgot to put uh, CDI, did I? Yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering why we're going the wrong direction. <laughs> so guys, don't forget to hit the CDI to GPS, otherwise it won't follow your navigation. Uh, so there we go. So now this will stay at 120, climb at the right altitude, and it will alert us once we hit about 6,000. Hopefully. Hopefully that is the plan. 80 knots, go back to 1991. <laughs> We had an argument the other day, what is chocolate fountain made of? I reckon it is a chocolate yogurt. She reckons it's like chocolate milk. What, a chocolate fountain? I'd say it's more chocolate like the chocolate, just chocolate and it melted. Chocolate? It's, it's, temper, yeah, it it's tempered chocolate. chocolate, so tempered chocolate usually will have some sort of base like cream, or, but it'd be, tempered, it'd be tempered to a right temperature where it gives you that kind of liquid consistency. Uh, we should do a stream of cards. I did with a chocolate fountain once and put milk in it and the entire thing seized up. <laughs> Has to be a bit warm. Uh, we should yeah. have a stream of cards against humanity. What the hell is that? Hello mate. Oh, Hope have you ever okay. played Cards Against Humanity? No, what is it? Oh my goodness, it's a card game for terrible people. Oh. <laughs> it's very funny. It's, it needs a lot of alcohol. <laughs> Yeah, as you can just I tell, guys, recommend it. I am not drinking at the moment because it is Super Bowl Sunday, so if I start drinking now, I'll never make it to the end of the Super Bowl tonight. Let's go, Chiefs. The one in Willy Wonkers. Oh, I, I, I say it's not even real chocolate. I'd say it's like dyed water or something, like goo. Probably not even real in the, in the movie. That'd be my opinion. Okay, yeah, let's have a look at the Simply Connect map. There's quite a few of us flying still. It's nice. Who's out and about tonight? We have myself. Andy is obviously with me. Uh, Nut is out there flying. Nut, are you in the stream? Uh, Glenn B Gaming is doing quite a long flight. You're miles away from getting anywhere, Glenn. Uh, Scott B is up and about in the TBM. He's on his final approach. Uh, Roy C, he's on final approach. He's in the Airbus A320. We've got uh, Bavera. He's in the, he's in the, the 737. He's on a final approach. And Richard is still taxiing. Richard, you've been taxiing for a long time, haven't you? Have you just landed? Not sure. But yeah. He was fixing his, uh, fixing his X plane. Uh, oh, Main Streets is flying, but he forgot to activate A cars. Yeah, that, that's that's rough. 
Okay guys, the landing lights will stay on for the duration of this flight because we're not going over 10,000 feet. Um, like I said, our de-icers are actually working already in case it is supposed to be quite stormy and cold, so good luck to Andy landing on the beach at Barra. I don't know if any of you have ever flown to Barra. This will actually be my first time landing there and Andy's going to take us in. Uh, Richard, don't be silly, I've not got X-Plane running. Uh, Arjun, hello mate, welcome. Uh, Liverpool got destroyed. <laughs> I thought Man United were terrible yesterday, but yeah, Liverpool got absolutely wrecked. 4-1, wasn't it? Was that the final score? <clears throat> One slow climb today, innit? Yeah, what, what's the wind setting that? As long as we clear these hills in front of us, I think we'll be okay. We can have a little bit of a, a cockpit talk here on the Twin 8. A lot of the things do work, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you put on the seating signs and stuff, these actually work. So if you turn off, I know the smoking sign say, and if we go back. There you go, look, smoking sign's now turned off. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's a cool wee plane, it's pretty well... Uh, it's pretty heavily featured, so it's got lots of detail and stuff, and nice, nice bits like the lights and stuff, I quite like it. I actually really like the aircraft. I, I actually enjoy flying, like, twin props and... There's an ATR uh, 750, but unfortunately it's an X-Plane 10 converted to X-Plane 11, so I don't think it's that great. But a lot of those kind of twin prop planes, I love flying. We need to get more of these in the company. But we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do some charter stuff. We need to. Uh, <coughs> we need to. Um, we've been asked to do helicopters as well. Anyone on X-Plane 11 that play with the helicopters? Is that an interest? And hopefully it is. Uh, Will James, I'm not even going to talk about my team's current form. <laughs> I'm going to do a short flight, then get onto your VA. Do you have a tutorial on how to get going? Ross, there is a tutorial there on how to get going, yeah. I thought you were up and flying by now. That's what I thought. Obviously, I was wrong. Nothing much going on there. It's very quiet. Once you're in the back of the aircraft. <laughs> okay, we're through 3,000 feet in yeah, just in time. I need a wee bottle of... Uh, need a bottle of... Uh, Dom Perignon and some caviar up here, I think. <coughs> I'd be interested in helicopters. Stephen Mansell, you'd be interested in the helicopters. Okay, so the, yeah, we, we have been asked... The only thing I would suggest though, guys, is that I don't actually have any helicopters. I know there's a lot of freeware stuff. Um, maybe just give DM me a bit of a list of some helicopters that might interest you, and then we'll have a look. Um, because, yeah, I, I wouldn't have a clue where to even start when it comes to helicopters. Yeah, I'm not really sure either. I would, can imagine we could do stuff like oil rig runs or something. I don't know. Are there oil rigs in the next plane? There must be. There is some add-ons and stuff, like, there are, like, you can buy missions and stuff for the helicopters, so there must be places for them. <coughs> yeah. Must be something. Uh, Will James hasn't done a flight in ages and he misses it. Well, come back, mate, come back. Don't worry, we won't be mad. I was doing my GA been, training. Uh, he's been too busy with his, uh, his high-speed train. <laughs> I haven't done my first actual airliner flight. Well, Ross, it's exactly the same setup with the A car, so you just fly the airliner. As long as you know how to fly the airliner, you're okay. So the A cars doesn't change. A cars is always the same. Is that the same plane those crazy people jump out for fun? I do probably think they use twin otters for jumping out of planes, I'd, I'd imagine. I think they still use these up in Scotland, don't they? I know they still use these in Southampton, yep. going to Jersey. Yeah, they are still used for the islands. Um, Logan Air still uses them. In fact, I saw one because uh, because I'm just that kind of cool guy. I was listening to Glasgow Air Traffic Control the other day, and they had there was someone landing in a twin otter. 
There we go. Do I have to pick a route on the website or can I pick your own route? Uh, you can pick your own route if you want or you can fly one from the website. It's up to you what you want to do with that. Uh, Ryan, yes, Logan Air. <laughs> Flybe. Flybe obviously used to fly these, but obviously... Well, Flybe's supposed to be making a comeback, haven't they? They brought an aircraft and registered it. Yeah, but... they bought one of these and it's registered under the new Flybe name. It's got... I will send you the YouTube link to Glasgow Airport ATC. They normally use caravans for sky jumping. Oh, do they? I wouldn't know. Um, here we have caravans that do the island hops to the Aran Islands from Galway, but they're like seven minute flights. Or something like that. I think nine minutes I think it takes to get to the biggest island, so yeah. <laughs> Still have to get on one one day. Well look, my plan was was hopefully I was gonna start my pilot training this year. But unfortunately with COVID that's gone out the window. But if I can get my pilot training started next year. I might do some videos once I can get get up myself and go around the islands myself. Um, that is the plan. But like I said, it all depends on COVID. Unfortunately here, the vaccine... Oh, the cloud just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> yep, I just came in from nowhere. <laughs> like, well, I just refreshed. Jesus Christ, I thought the plane was nosediving. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so that'd be something I want to do as well as obviously my bus uh, vlogs and stuff. So look, there's a lot hopefully coming with this kind of stuff, but I just... With COVID, I just don't know where we stand with anything, to be honest with you. COVID is causing... Not to make too many plans. ...so much issues. Uh, they use for the island hopping to the Channel Islands as well, yeah. Down to Jersey and Guernsey. But the only time I went to Guernsey, I, I got on the boat. Uh, what was it called there? You get on at Weymouth. Condor? I don't know if they're still running. I think they went bust, didn't they? I haven't been to Jersey in a long time. Uh, Richard also nice wants you to. Thing, yeah, Richard also wants you to DM the YouTube I've channel. I've just done it. Yeah, okay. I have flown a glider plane a few years ago, which was fun. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's uh, Jamesy has convinced me to go and give it a go once everything's open again. What gliding? Yep. Yeah, why not? Uh, I've been told it takes as long to fly to Sydney, Australia as anywhere New Zealand to New Zealand. As in what you mean like domestic flying? Probably, yeah, because Sydney's a very big place. <laughs> it did look like the plane was going down. Yeah, the weather refresh just scared the sh out of me. Uh, but no, we are climbing. We're through the mountain. It's actually kind of a nice picture here. Actually. It was totally. It must be it must be windy but yeah i don't know what kind of landing andy's gonna get here this could be a could be a shocker <laughs> if the weather doesn't pick up it seems to be getting worse the more we we fly we're still, we're still 60 nautical miles away we're, we're quite a distance away we're looking all right <coughs> uh kurt says can you just dm because you just DM him. <laughs> yeah, I've slid, I've slid into his DMs. Found crazy that they used to play in the pool, glide into the air, and then just hook, glide in midair. Yeah, it's pretty cool though, isn't it? Condor is still running. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, Condor is who I went with. It was it was an absolute puke fest. It was, I was actually a lot younger. I was on holiday with my parents in Weymouth. I think we we're at a Haven site actually. And my dad's actually from Guernsey, so he wanted to take us over there, but we'd all been kind of drinking. Even at my young age, I was, uh, we all were a bit hungover, and all of us were sick the whole way. It was a pretty rough crossing, actually. Thought I'd pilot on my TVM in Microsoft Flight Simulator. What's, yeah, it didn't work very well for you, did it, mate? Uh, Spaghetti Raver also wants you to DM him this uh, link. Just stick it in pilot chat. Yeah, it's just, a public link. Yeah, just flick it anywhere. There you go. I think a lot of the airports do this kind of thing now, where you can watch the airplanes and listen to ATC, can't you? I think quite a few of them well, It's do just it. someone, it's someone's, someone's just passing a, a, the radio feed in for YouTube. Yeah, mate. Aero toes are great. Much nicer when the winch launch. It's only the glider that disconnects from the rope, not the tug. I love a good rough crossing. <laughs> uh, the Belfast is always fun in rough weather. Just even going from bloody Holly, I'm actually saying that if you go to the Aran Islands from Galway, from Russellville, if you take that ferry, that's pretty rough. That bit of water is rough out there on the west. 
even going to bloody Dublin or Rosselaire to Wales, uh, Fishguard, that can be a pretty rough, rough one as well. This is the most in demand I've been in 12 months. Yeah, it's actually a flight that's working for us too. I can't see F all though because it is cloudy as crap. Well, we up are here. So proper <laughs> in the clouds. <laughs> yeah, how are we doing? Twenty five minutes. Our ETA, we just it? hit seven. Yep. Uh, we'll, we'll speed up once we uh, finally get up to uh, seven thousand. And then it's just a drop down. Then that is hard. That's a big claim. <laughs> I think we need an Andy Appreciation <laughs> Discord channel. <laughs> We probably I can, do. I can do my Ned voice and I could do my Ned voice and scare everyone off if you want, but I don't want to down rank your video. Bill James, he claims he is big. What can you do? <laughs> it's bending fast. <laughs> Not denying anything though. Man, can't see nothing. Just grey. Oh, I'm up off the clouds now. Oh, outside. It's, I think it's trying to refresh. I don't know. That is hard. Whatever you do. Don't look at any pictures he sends you. <laughs> what the hell are you two been sending each other? I, uh, yeah, yeah, I wish I knew. <laughs> this has slightly gone out of control. <laughs> See, this is what happens when we bring Curtis back in. Yeah, Kurt goes missing. Nothing. Everyone's nice and polite and quiet. <laughs> okay, the altitude alarm should trigger in a second. All systems are looking good. Oil temperature's a bit high, but I think we'll be okay. Aren't the main we're only at 6,000 feet? Yeah, the alarm will go off at 6,000 because there's a thousand before. Oh, yeah, sorry. sorry. My bad. I thought it was 500 before. We're getting there, we're getting there. We're literally going to probably come down by the time we get up. Oh, what? <laughs> Don't activate what we're done. Okay, so the altitude alert has now gone off. We're a thousand away now from our final altitude for today's flight. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be involved in this. <laughs> See, I can pure just talk like this, big man, and go all what you're talking about, and then go up your path like this, and pure deep and or Neddy for you, but I'll, uh, I'll just keep to my nice posh voice. No, Kurt, Kurt probably loves it, either way. Oh. Yeah, tonight on Channel 5, chat gone wild, yeah. <laughs> it's better than whatever is on TV right now, isn't it? What's on, what's on RT now, Stephen Brad? Oh, you don't get RT, do you? You're in Northern Ireland. Something like uh, 
The perfect wedding dress or something. I think that's what's on TV every night this week. Rubbish like that. Someone down the road did win the, the national lottery the other day. In the town, the next town over. 500 million Based. or whatever it was. Yeah. Jesus. It'd be scary to have that much money in one go. I, uh, yeah. I, think, I think majority of lottery winners end up pissing out the wall within a couple of years, don't they? Yeah, probably. It'd probably kill me. It used, to be, it used to be that you could live off the interest. You can't really do that now, but you used to be able to. Uh, Scott says you can go as netty as you like. <laughs> Okay, so once uh, we, where are we? Kind of look at this approach here. Which way would it take us? Probably going to take so us. We're going to the end and then we'll do a left turn. So it's probably going to do a left here, isn't it? You can't see my screen. But I think we. I think it's here that we join. I have a feeling. Uh, possibly. Yeah. Uh, what? What one was it? I think it comes across here. Yeah, it does. Looks like it. So what we're going to do then is probably activate it in a minute. Yep. Get a couple more minutes. Activate the approach. Um, yep. Take uh, take control. You request control. I'll do your lights and flaps for you. Okay. So I've now released control to Andy. Andy is in full control of the aircraft. Help us all. So you want me to activate approach now? Uh, yeah, we may as well because it's going to just redirect us basically. Uh, Roll up one where it says activate. I'm trying it. There you go. Yeah, it is going to go to yeah. the left. I thought it was. Okay, you might as well start descending yourself down a little bit. Yeah, uh, what was it? Two thousand, wasn't it? You might as well. Maybe, yeah, bring yourself down to 3,000 and check, but you... Did you use the IAS? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm just getting my speed down a little bit. Okay. How does that look for you? Yeah, it looks good. I'm hitting you about 100. That's fine. We're going down a lot faster than we came up. Kurt's hard, all of the above. Whiskey, always whiskey. Yeah, it's a bit cold out. Out. Are we whiskey tonight? It's a bit cold out. I, I'd go whiskey. But uh, I definitely wouldn't make it to the end of the Super Bowl. When you win the lottery, you also find you have lots of friends and family. That's why many of you go broke. Yeah, you try and buy houses yeah. for everybody, don't you? I suppose that's half the issue. Pay off everyone's mortgage. <laughs> Paul James. Oh, I know so many things about him. Uh, apparently, I, know, I don't know what's going on. I'm a bit, I'm a bit worried. <laughs> you clearly put yourself out there, mate. <laughs> I know. I don't know. Freaking out, this plane drops like a stone, doesn't it? It isn't half 2,000 feet a minute. It's going to be down in, <laughs> we're going to be down in uh, seconds. Okay, well, you're down at 3,000 anyways, which is okay, because you do then need to drop down to 1,500. Okay, the altitude alarm had gone off, so it should bring itself level in a second. At least we're under the clouds. Well, I'm under the clouds anyways. Yep. Let's get that speed back up for a little bit. There you go, it should hold it now. I told it 3100, that's why I uh, stopped on that. Why is it not doing that? Uh, just, it, I think it's just trying to configure itself with the speeds and the pitches. Yeah. It's not, it's not dropped anymore, so it's okay. Inside is broken for me. Right here, James. Huh? Going on? I don't know. Inside is broken for me. Nothing's wrong here. 
People also spent outside of their means buying a 10 bed mansion for them and their two kids. Yeah, I, I, I just think by winning the lottery will just send you mental. I think if you win it, you need to keep quiet. I, I wouldn't be going out there popping champagne over all the papers and stuff. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even tell my closest See, family. <laughs> I wouldn't tell nobody. The, um, the thing with it is that um, you, if, if you stay anonymous, you don't get any support from National Lottery. Oh, dealing with it. Yep. So you have to go public if you want any other help. Uh, I, I thought you had a choice to stay anonymous. Robo has been a busy boy giving away his dark secrets. <clears throat> Clearly, I need to get up earlier in the morning to see what's happening on the Discord between six and nine. So I need to. I, I would <laughs> like to know why we're still we're still dropping here. It's done. Uh, it's hold. Oh, oh, I yeah. done wrong. Okay. I'm just gonna press altitude hold, and it should hold us here now. Yep. I did that. It's weird. Okay, it's. Okay, so that's Dindo. Man, I I wish we could move this. This is the only problem with this. It, like, it doesn't let you navigate up. Yeah, yeah, I know it's, it's very annoying. I think we're doing a circle, so from Dimdo, we'll be circling around back in. Is that correct? No, so we... Oh, no, turn... we'll be literally landing. Yeah, so we hit PR 25i, and then we head um, west. So when you hit Dimdo, drop down to the 1,500. Might be a little early, but... Can't see these numbers very well. <laughs> Both trying to play with this. <laughs> uh, Spaghetti Rave, I've just seen the video of myself that you just sent me. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that for you. Uh, YouTube says excellent condition. Condition, connection, everything looks okay. Yeah, you've been fine in mine, you haven't stopped at all. Uh, I need a Hummer to get to the shop down the road. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's what. That's it, they all buy like Ferraris and Lamborghinis, but insurance and stuff, even year by year, would eat you alive in the tax. Unless you're sustaining the income of head, like high income, you can't just live off it like that. Oh, I do like Foster's. Foster's is alright. It's not it's not my favourite beer, but I don't mind it either. It has to have a like, little dash of lemonade on the top. Foster's top. <laughs> uh, where are we flying over this now? We're flying over North Uist at the moment. On our way. I've uh, had many a wet tent. So that sounded very wrong. I've had many a wet night camping in Uist. Yeah, I'm not a big camper myself. Uh, have you got any snow? We're getting hammered by it. Um, no, we put on snow warning. I think it's for the end of the week. You remember, we're a little bit further away from you. I'm the furthest west you could be, so it takes a couple of extra days. But they reckon by Thursday, I believe. Thursday? Yeah, we have snow warnings for Thursday, I believe. So, yeah. San Miguel beer is nice. Yep, yeah, drank plenty of that in Spain. To be honest, when it comes to like lager, I quite like Carling. Probably worse than Foster's, really. I don't really like lagers as much. I prefer like the the, the uh, like the, the pale ales and the, and the craft beers more. But uh, if I do drink, yeah, I do like Carling, Carlsberg. The only one I don't really like is Bud. I don't know. There's something about Bud I just don't like. I don't know what it is. I'm not a Bud fan. I saw like when I went to New York and I was there for the Super Bowl a couple of years ago, it was all they had on sale was Bud Light everywhere. Oh, Bud Light, yeah. All they seem to drink over there. Stephen Bradley, what happens when someone takes all the baskets? Okay, the trick with any income is to spread it around my sources. Never pull the eggs in one basket. <laughs> you mean, don't do lager, I like anything real ale. Yeah, I like, I like my ales a bit more, I do like my craft stuff a bit more. Even if it's like a lager, I prefer like the craft lagers. Um, 
it's kind of how my you know when I was younger it'd always be kind of like Foster's or Carling or whatever can't beat a bit of wife beating juice as well I'm going to get demonetized now aren't I <laughs> it's a bit oh, of Stella. Uh... <laughs> I'll be a bit of Stella. Uh, try Broken Hill, worst bit ever. I've never heard of Broken Hill. Is, is, is I've that, never heard of it either. Is that a New Zealand beer? I must admit, that's one thing that confused me about Australia when I went out there. Literally, you have like the four beers. You have the VB, you have the, the Blonde, uh, it's like the, f the four beers, the four lagers of the four areas, and that's like it. And they don't do cider, pretty much. They do Strongbow, but it was in a bottle. Stella is wife beating juice. <laughs> All I have to do is wear my, uh, you know, the, 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 the top, the tank top, and a Stella. Australian. I don't, I don't, I don't remember that myself. Kingfisher lager is nice. I don't know what Kingfisher is either. Start the night on Real L, but I go to Foster's in the club, or at least young enough to go into a club. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long time since I've been in the club. Oh, I used to used to go like used to go out on a Wednesday night, pound a drink. Oh yeah, that's how we used to do as well. <laughs> go down to Weatherspoons, it'd be 99p uh, beer or whatever it was. That used to be Foster's mainly. Five pound curry. No. But we also yeah, used to do the same yeah. in the clubs. You used to go into the nightclubs and it'd be like 99p for a bottle of Wicked, you know, like the really cheap ones. Yep. And you put the straw in and you'd straw pedo all of them. Oh. But, oh, oh, the heartburn, the heartburn. <laughs> Cobra. Cobra. I haven't had a Cobra lager since the last time I had a proper Indian inside an Indian restaurant. Yeah. Oh, yeah we are going up and round on this approach, sorry. Oh, oh we are? Yeah, we're going up and we're going up and round for some reason. Okay. Oh, we might as well just Shark. hold this altitude for a bit longer then. Once you start making it, once you hit PR but two five, right? Right. That's it. The um, no new is our missed approach. Is our sorry, no new is the um, other star in. Where the bloody hell's the airport? Our oh, runway two five is here. Yeah, to the yeah. Right, That's yep. our missed approach. Okay, so once you hit Dimdu, I'd, I'd drop yourself down ready to catch, because we have no way of telling. All you can do is press the button and wait for it to capture, so. <coughs> we don't uh, wicked. have to get down much, do we? What is it? 2000, uh, 1500? Yeah. Make up all night, we stopped them. <laughs> yeah. I brought 12,000 boxes of Broken Hill. Price is real cheap. Could not give it away. <laughs> oh god, must be brutal. Yeah, it's torpedo. Yeah, I can't I drink any Red Bull. Vodka, Red Bull. Yeah, I can't do Red Bull even no, now. No, nope. I can't do it. I, my, I can, I can uh, drink uh, Candom one all night, but I can't do a uh, of Red Bull. I can't. I can't do Red Bull. It's it's the same with Jaeger bombs. I can't do them because of the Red Bull. No, oh, yeah, I'm the same. I could never. I, I do one, but I, I, I'd, I'd be having heart. <laughs> Spasms for the rest of the night. The worst thing about coming out of the club is going to the kebab vans. Oh my god. Get the biggest, dirtiest oh, Donner kebab. Burger sauce oh, all over the place. Uh, <laughs> if you hadn't got, um, if you hadn't got lucky in, in the club, then it was always off the chippy for chips, cheese, and curry sauce. But you know, it's always funny, like, there'd be no taxis or something, and we'd all be walking home. But it's funny, like, once you get food, you just have head down in your food, and you just find your way home. You don't yeah. even look up, you just end up at home. <laughs> exactly. That's the best part. I'm just going to bring some speedo and get ready to descend. <laughs> okay, mate. Yeah, so Andy has full control on this land. I'm just doing lights and uh, flaps. Vulcan Red Bull used to be that uh, to me. Yeah, I, I don't know how anyone can drink that stuff. It, it, I'd probably put me in the hospital that now. The Serrano and Cranberry. <laughs> Uh, you know what I used to like? I used to like Perno. I used to like Perno quite a bit. Because it's not going down. What have I done? Okay. That's it now. Is that it going down? Yeah. No. Uh, no. Hang on. Nope. What's happened? What have I done? 
think some speedo. That's, that'll help. Uh, no, I'm heading. Yeah, okay, you're dropping yeah, now. So yeah, I took some <coughs> speedo. I, my throttle was just too high. Yeah, when you do IAS, it's sometimes better to just drop the, the throttles yeah. as well. It just helps it digging itself down. Oh, I just thought that was you turning then. Okay, so obviously this will only mark you to 1,000. So once you hit just under 1,500, just hit the altitude button. Yep. Got a better throttle back in. Need to see this a bit more. There we go. I can always lower the first notch of flaps anyways. Here we go. I was past that one I had to do 23 Jaeger bombs because of my birthday and haven't done one since. Uh, it's, yeah, it reminds me of my 18th. Uh, shots of um, uh, tequila. There's about seven shots lined up and I did all seven and I was back home within 20 minutes of the night out. Oh, no wonder. Yeah, I haven't touched that since either. Actually, the only uh, time I had touched tequila was... Um, what's the more expensive brand of tequila? Um, Oh, sh I think what it is. Yeah, I've done that once or twice, but yeah. Or well, setting fire to Sambuca, then down in the shot while it's on fire. Do that quite a lot. I'm surprised I haven't died. Yeah, Arjun, I saw. I don't know why. Everyone else is. Everyone else's stream running fine. Had a few Red Bulls earlier. Yeah, man. Energy fine. Did did a 50 mile cycle though. Uh, I just can't do it. My heart, it's like apple juice. I can't drink apple juice. I get real bad heart then. I don't know what it is. I can't. Root juice is just so full of sugar, I can't do it. Great kebab shop at the bottom of Citro Street next to Weather Space. <coughs> yeah, it used to be a kebab van that used to be at the back of McDonald's. Oh, the best van. That's like the best kebabs ever. I wouldn't know if it was because I was drunk or not. Uh, we have to get that one drink you're forced to drink that you wouldn't touch again afterwards. Uh, tequila. Yeah, I couldn't do tequila again. If it went to my lips, I'd probably vomit. Blech. Everyone else is saying the stream is fine. I don't know what's going on. Famous Sambuca. Um, we had a picture and a piano, and it was called the gas chamber. <laughs> yeah. Remember, we used to get gold slagger because everyone said because it had gold flakes in it, it cut the back of your throat yeah. so you'd drunk faster. I never had a kebab, but not typical. I'm drunk kebab. It looks like scabs. <laughs> I know you gotta get like loads of burger sauce, loads of salad, loads of mayo. <laughs> just it's just a mess all the way home. They're the best kebabs. Okay, so just very quickly now we are preparing for landing, guys. Is it PR two F five yep. F? You have to do the approach by, is it? Yep. Okay. So I just went to proc and activate approach here. All you have to do is press approach. Yeah. Once you get straight here, just press approach. Um, I'd start bringing a little bit more speed out, bring yourself down to 90, and then I'll lower the flaps again. Okay, so flaps 20. Yeah, hold it around there is good. <coughs> Quality is on and off for me. Sometimes it's blurry my end, and then it's okay again. Is anyone else getting that as well? Tastes like it too, but it's great for soaking up the booze. Well, so we used to have a subway next to the nightclub when I was really young. I don't know what we've just started doing. I've just, uh, oh, hold on. What have I done? We're going back to Dimdo now. <laughs> Do you want to manually bring it in? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be fun. Take off the approach. I don't know what you did. That's that I hit activate approach. No, I've got no control now. There you go. You have control now. Disengage the autopilot. Go on, you have control. Yep, I have control. I'm just gonna probably right to the right here. That's fine. I'm bringing it in a little bit better so you can see the lines. Yeah, I don't know what, what happened there. I clicked activate approach and it went back to Dimdo. Did you activate the approach on here? Yeah. Oh, it was already activated, so you're sending the plane back. All you have oh, to do is press the approach, approach here. Yeah, yeah. you hit, sorry, I, that's my fault, yep. It's I okay. I just remembered what I did. 
Yeah, so once you've already activated it once. Here, if I go back here and engage it, it should be able to just kick in again, won't it? Uh, it might do. Running around at 1am in the meat market doesn't sound dodgy. Uh, <laughs> sounds pretty dodgy to me. I'm sure it was Brixton and not Amsterdam. <laughs> I remember being drunk and running through Brixton Meat Market at one in the morning with a chow mein and a curry. <laughs> I'm surprised you you survived running through Brixton at that time in the morning. Okay, so what I'll do, I will press nav and I'll re-engage. Oh no, now it's going back to the left. No. You want me to bring this one in here? Uh, you know yeah, go for it. Alright, I'll take control. Okay, go. Okay, go. So change your plan. I'm going to bring this one in. And Andy's going to uh, do the, the next one. Okay, what's my speed at? Where's my beach that we're landing on? Yeah. Somewhere so over here, you'd isn't it? line up with twenty five yeah. line up with 25F. So now the pressure's on me to get this good, so Andy has real pressure now. Okay, what are we sitting at? 1,300. I can, I can take over now if you want. That's up to you. That's, that's Wrong me if it's not Andy's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get demonetized reading your chat, I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, the airport is just over to the left. Let me know. Do you want some more flaps? Can you can pay this now. Uh, 20 flaps. Where are we at? Yeah, go on. Drop us down to 30 flaps because I'm going to take the speed out soon. Whoa. 30 flaps. <coughs> Never landed on the beach before. So it is just, see where the black line is down your windscreen, that's pretty much where the beach is. Alright. It's up to you, if you want to take it in now that we're, we're, we've sorted out again, it's up to you if you want to do this landing still. You tell me, your beach. No, you can, uh, you're, you're set up now, it's fine. I don't mind. Okay. Straight in here somewhere. Is there like runway markers on this bloody thing? Uh, nope, so it's just, um... <laughs> Hope for the best. <clears throat> you can sort of see some boats, I think. You may be able to see some boats out there. You're sort of heading that way. What, the runway's over here? The runway is... Yeah, down... Right, see where the wee green... That wee tiny green island is? It's down yeah. this, the other side of that. What, left or right? Uh, in front of it. Oh, so literally just aim for the island. Pretty much. Right, okay. Uh, which airline is used for short A320 flights? Simply connect or... Yeah, the short flights would be used... Uh, A320 and A319, mate. Landed on the beach in a tourist bus. <coughs> yeah, remember that tourist uh, tourist stream I did? <laughs> I got the, the bus stuck on the beach. Yeah, I got some bad memories of beach landings. Um, let me know when you want your final flaps. Yeah, go on, bring the final flaps in. 500 feet away flaps. now, anyways. No, that was my bad. I forgot you don't hit activate approach, you hit. Yeah, it's just approach the approach on the here, because you already activated yeah, it, so yeah, what you yeah. did, you reactivated it. But it was refreshing. Seriously, where the frig am I supposed to be landing this thing? Literally, keep going in a straight line. Doesn't look like there's anything there. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I hope my reverse thrust is going to work. You won't, shouldn't need them. Literally, just... I don't. Can you see the? There's a wee house. That's that's pretty much the airport. Yeah, you're making. You're doing. Yep, yeah, you're on. You're you're bang on. All right. Uh, have we decided which airline the new route schedule is going to follow? I don't think we have. We did ask for suggestions. I, I've actually personally asked for Ryanair. 
but that doesn't mean I'm going to yeah, get it. Yeah, I'm going to have a look, but it's going to be a few months yet. Um, obviously, we've just put nearly 7,000 roots on, so um, I'll probably start looking at spring-summer stuff soon, um, sort of <coughs> waiting to see what happens with COVID and things and what roots open up to see if we're going to buy this year's schedules or just stick with the previous ones. Uh, friggin' Altimia is not correct, is it? I've already gone under zero and we're still in the air. Yep. At least I get to relax after this. Even any BTAR available. Seriously, am I just literally landing on there and hoping for the best? Yeah, so right in front of you is the airport. <coughs> Where's the runway? Do I see the wind sock? The runway is the beach. <laughs> this makes no sense. Reckon Ryanair is a good one. What about KLM? It doesn't have to be a UK company at all. No. KLM, I never thought of actually. That's a good shoot. Uh, Gil only wants BA so he can fly both at the same time, you see. So that's probably why we yep. won't allow BA now. He's just ruined it for himself. Pretty much. <laughs> No, I was thinking about Ryanair because the budget lines and they fly in and out of Ireland a lot more because... The reason I picked EasyJet for the first one is just because um, they had Airbuses, whereas Ryanair only fly Boeing 737s. <coughs> I seriously can't believe that there's nothing here for me but just land on the beach. This is a joke. This is Scotland, mate. But my altimeter is wrong, so I don't even know how far away from the ground I am. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just weaking it back up again. Are, are we just going just to anywhere uh... you like? Oh my god! Ah. Oh, bounced. Oh, my reverse thrust isn't working. Oh, there it is. I'm done. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is terrible. Is there any point putting on taxi lights? <laughs> we can we'll burly around to the uh, to the terminal. You can see the tower over there. Landing on the beach. Oh my god, it's fine landing on the beach, but my altimeter didn't even work, so I couldn't even see what I was... Andy, why are we not moving again? Oh, I'm, I'm reversing. There's something wrong with the weight of the aircraft, because it's still bouncing. Is it not working at all now? There you go. We've got it, we've got it working right. again. It wants to take off already. What's going on? Uh, this beach is a nightmare. Look at it bouncing. Yeah, don't know if uh, I think there's a better scenery for it. Uh, minus three, four, four, minus twelve, minus twelve. <laughs> oh, it's gonna add up on the A cars. That is Andy. I've just ruined our landing route. It's very bouncy on this beach for some reason. It looks very flat, but I don't know. Something's not right. Beautiful. There you go, there's your runway signs. There's your break. I should have made you do that. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you do next now. Okay, props down to Feather. Park and brake on. Okay, that's okay for the minute. Holy Jesus Christ. Okay, let me finish A cars before we look at the first landing there. Uh. Okay. End flight. Bar flight. And I'm just going to do the next one ready. So where are we now? We're at EG... P... We're at EGPR and we're going to... EGPU. EGPU. Okay. I'm just going to see if I can find the... 30.09 is the... 
There we go. Is your egg a, a cars? No, oh, I've just turned mine back on. I can't watch the replay. Cancel it and start it again if you want. Have you started yours? No, I've not started mine. Hang on. EGP. Ah, oh, to EGPU. Flight number zero zero two. Okay. I have a quick, terrible look at my uh, replay there, guys. <clears throat> I felt like it was going so well until the bit where we landed. Yeah, I don't think the um, I think you need the scenery pack to get it to work properly. Although we, I know we didn't, have, we had problems with the. Uh, yeah, it's quite bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it just went on its ass. <laughs> that is uh, some. Uh, oh, you crashed. Um, uh, that my plane is now on fire. My plane is on fire. Yep, mine is now on fire. Uh, how do we fix this now? Oh, a tire is blown. I think that was the least of my worries. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to restart it. So what, quit the co-pilot and then restart the plane? Probably. Okay, I'll quit the co-pilot. There co you go. I've just uh, uh, posted the video of it on the... Uh... Oh, yours is on fire as well, excellent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but it. Yeah. Hey, to be fair, it's not a bad landing considering I couldn't see my altimeter was wrong. And this is actually a bumpy, believe it or not. It doesn't look like it, but... It must be a set line um, for the runways. If you can pick beach parking directly in front of the runway at 11. Okay, hang on. EGPR. Our beach parking. I have beach parking and beach parking. So which one is it? Uh, the one. Hold on. I'm just waiting in the stream. So the one to the left. What, the next to the runway for 11? The one at the, bo the, one at the bottom. The one at the bottom. All right, yeah, okay. Yep, that's it. Okay, can't touch nothing, otherwise it'll probably crash. <coughs> Best stream ever. <laughs> Not a bad landing, plane catches fire, don't worry about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so we actually have a full cold and dark startup now, Andy. Yep, I'll rattle through this quickly. I'll just wait till you connect. Uh, you ping me your number. Yeah, hang on. Need to... <clears throat> Do I need to start it again? No. Hey. Hang on, I'm just giving you the number now. And I wouldn't mind, but you're going to get a nice runway to bloody land on now. Okay, let's allow that. So, am I master still, am I? Yeah, you are. Alright. Okay, what do you want me to do for your startup, or do you want to do it all? I just talked to the chat. Yeah, I can do it. Go yeah, on. I'll do it if I take control. There you go, release control. Thank you. Andy's going to do the full startup here. But only 11 thumbs up. One thumbs up for each bounce on the landing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look, to hey, be sorry. Hey, can you do weights and balance and fuel? Because it won't let me do it. Because okay. you're a master. Okay, no problem. Just... Uh... Sells a bit more fuel y. That payload is still fine. You're full. Right, there we go. You are fueled and ready to rock and roll, mate. Uh, okay, yeah, good point. I better set my A cars back on now here as well. Passenger count. Ten. All right. There's max capacity zero. Oh well. Start flight. Yeah, so that was supposed to be Andy's landing. Um, so I'm pretty disappointed now that I've balls that. Uh, anyways, Andy cannot do any worse. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, last words. Uh, brutal. Plane on fire and everything. Oh, that's funny. Uh, you gotta have fun. Absolutely. Otherwise, what's the point?
Are you already turning on engines? Yep. Uh, have you done the navigation? No. Okay. okay. Mine is sitting wrong. Mine's still still set up for the last flight. So yeah, no, no, it. so is mine. Mine's still set up. That's why okay, I was... Yeah, fine. <coughs> you know that the parking brake's off, don't you? Nope. Mine's on. Maybe that doesn't sink. Yeah, not an easy landing out here. You can actually see the bumps. There must be like they must have a certain line that they use, surely. There must be, yeah. Uh... <sighs> Funny. My huh. engines are off and running. I'll just get the. Uh, can I clear the? What you do? You just press just in... direct. So uh -huh. you press it. Hang on, my my screen's gone funny. Okay, so if you just press the the direct two, you know the D with the arrow. Oh, you've yep. already done it. And then you put in. Uh, you just scroll. There you go. Now put in your new waypoint. Can't believe my aircraft caught fire. <laughs> <coughs> Flatten each beach every 30 minutes. Well, clearly they didn't flatten the beach for me. It, did, it didn't help that my, my ult didn't, wasn't set up correctly either, though, I must admit. It didn't help that I couldn't see like, when I was like, going to come to land. This aircraft is a funny one. It sits very high even when you come in. So you think you still have more to go, but you don't. Okay, Arna, you're going in on 2-3? Yep. And you're taking the Monlo. Oh, wow. Load. And that is it. Oops. Yep, looks fine. Is there no lights down here for this aircraft? Or the cabin? What do you mean? It seems a bit strange that there's no... There's a wee crappy light up here. Yeah, I've already turned it to max, but it's not very bright, is it? No, oh, oh, that... I think it's the way the sun... Oh, okay, there's this as well, look. Gotta do loads, innit? Alrighty, well, we're good to go whenever you're uh, ready. Think... Yep, I'm just checking. I've got... Uh... NB Gaming is flying the Totus A319 in the NHS livery. Yeah, he is. He's also He'll be streaming to probably about midnight tonight. <coughs> oh, hang on, I need to change my fly live as well while we're here. Okay. I, I am ready to go. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I've not got much to do really on this this leg. All right. yours, Captain. For some reason my uh, my prop buttons aren't working now. There you go. So Fly Live has yeah, it's resorted itself out. <coughs> What altitude are you going up to? 5,000. Nice. 5,000 is snow. Oh, I think that might be enough. We'll watch your takeoff from the outside. You're literally just taking off. Tail strike. <laughs> you didn't have any taxi lights on, did you? No, you do. It's like you were doing my. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm doing it now. I'm doing it now. I'm doing it now. I'm doing it now. <laughs> 
strobe is on. I'm sure ACARS is having a field day. Strobe's turned off while in flight, yeah. <laughs> it's a nice wee island. Like the map light in my first Ford Mondeo. Oh, the map light. <laughs> uh, Glenn Dixie, see you in a bit, mate. Hey, wait, what buttons I need to push against? I need to hit. Okay, so. IAS. IAS right? when you're happy with the speed and then the nav. Yeah. That, that's it. 120. Because the altitude is going to go off your yellow dot, so you don't have to press the alt button. Yeah. So just nav and IAS and engage, obviously. No, not the out button. Push the out one. I just push the AS. Okay, and then you need to engage it as well. You need to press the engage, otherwise it won't engage. The switch at the bottom. Yep. This thing here. Yeah, I did that. Okay. Is that one for you? No, I, I put it on for mine now. It's all right. Cringe. Okay, climbing to five thousand feet again. Start with build a simulator demo, maybe change to something else, yeah it goes. Uh, Glenn Dixie, is that the house building demo from Playaway? Because I heard it's absolutely dog crap. <clears throat> Who do you think's going to win tonight? You see, the, the thing you got is the Bucks with Brady, and I mean, look, they got Evans. Yep. Um, it's hard. I like to think that Brady has passed it, but look, they were ranked fifth in the league, and at the beginning of the season, they were terrible, and they pulled it back, and they beat the Packers. I want Chiefs to win. Chiefs are my team, who I follow anyways. I've been following them for a long, long time, so personally, I'd like the Chiefs to win, but I, I think it's a tough call with Tom Brady with the experience. I know Mahomes has done it once, and, you know, it shouldn't be so much pressure, but I, I just, I don't know. But in saying that, like, last week, when Tom Brady was in the final against the Packers, he did... He threw like four interceptions, it's just the Packers couldn't capitalize on it, so... Yeah. I, I don't... I, I see... I see the Chiefs should win, I, I'd hope. I'd like to think we're there. Uh, but oh, flying hard, is it, lads? Well, I just crashed and burned on my landing, so this is now Andy's turn. We've got about 20 minutes to ETA, and then we will be there yet. Yeah, so it's a funny one. I, 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 like, I like to think Chiefs will do it, but... You can't write Brady off. He's won it, what, five times, four times? Yeah, five, I think. Yeah. You just can't write him off, unfortunately. I would say I'll stay up for it, but it's uh, unlikely I'll make it through the night and be able to get to work. What, from your bed to your office? <laughs> yeah, all that, that ten feet. Uh, the quality of this stream is literally dropped to blurriness. Really? Looks fine to me. I can't see because what, what YouTube shows me is a load of crap anyway, so I can never tell. Am I pilot in real life? Um, Alexander, c kinda. Just not for planes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a bus driver in real life. I think there's... The plane spontaneously caught fires. It didn't want you guys as pilots. <laughs> Absolute cheek. It's in settings. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, what, what, what YouTube does give me a screen that I can see what's going on, but that is always blurry, so I, I don't know what it is. I'm a bus pilot. That's it. That's it. On the phone, it's blurry-ish. You know that you can hit the cogwheel and change the settings. The phone might automatically give you, like, 480p. You just have to use the cogwheel to change it to 720. Unfortunately, I can't do 1080 yeah, we... because of the Wi-Fi, because of lockdown here. 
Uh, they have uh, that's all restricted. So I can't I can't do much more than this at the moment until lockdown ends, whenever that ends. Okay. Yeah, that's our red. Our landing lights weren't on. I put them on. I put. I. They are. They must be not quite syncing up at the moment for some reason. Okay, I'm trying to look at your approach on the screen to see what the hell's going on here, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so we are... Uh, we are hitting Malal and then we're going to PU23I. Okay, so, so we, yeah, we're I going here. Over, I need to start the approach in a minute. So yeah, go select approach. Oh, you know, uh, activate approach up above. Yeah. Activate approach. There we go. Just remember this time, don't touch it again. Just just approach here yeah, is all you need. Yeah. <laughs> it was in 480 yeah, and I did 720. Yeah, it defaults to 480 on phones. I think that's just YouTube itself. It restricted our upload download, but it doesn't reduce the bill. Yeah, that's also very true. But Arjun, catch you later, mate. No problem. <coughs> But Alexander, if you're still watching, uh, yeah, we're doing a co-pilot share. There's me and Andy on here today, so I'm not actually doing anything right now. It's all Andy. Obviously, it's you all you to make us crash and burn. Well, you can't do any worse than what I just did. In all fairness to you. Same as platforms. But you know all your heights and stuff. I, you just tell me your flaps. I'll do your flaps. Uh, yep, I'm gonna just. I think I'm actually just going to hold us. Going to have to start coming down in a second anyway. Uh, so at Malal, we want to be at. Andy, where are we flying to next? EGPU. I'm not actually sure where it yep. is. Kyrie. 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 Take the wee island. Am I showing up the VA map is flying? Uh, let's have a look. I don't know. I've got the live map live. Uh, yeah, you're going from GCTS to GCFV. I don't even know where that is. Yeah, you have turned up. You can check your own live map as well. You can just press it. Why are we going all over the place? I am. Oh, are you bringing us down already, are you? Yeah, I'm just uh, slowly bringing us down, trying to anyway. Tenerife to Ferventura. Okay, fair enough. Controls are not quite happy in this one. What are you trying to do? Hold at 3,000? No, no, I'm trying to come down, but it's um, it's really, it's a lot more judgy than it was in the first one. You just take out all your speed, it'll drop. <laughs> what altitude are we looking for here? Two thousand. Uh, what do you want your Q and H to be, by the way? Well, it should be about the same. Hang on. Let me just check it. I'll just find out. You carry on flying, I'll do it. 30.03 30 years. 30.03. Yep. One, two, three. There we go. <coughs> Uh, 
But you want to hold there, is it? Yep. Did you press Alt? It. I'll tell what's pressed in. Oh yeah, it's holding now. Nice. Sorting itself out. We're crashing now. Soon. Not not far off. Uh, Ryan, why can't I see stats off the flight? Uh, Ryan, which stats are you looking for? You just need to go in. If you go into your dashboard, you'll see the stats that it has. But what stats are you looking for? Like your landing rates and stuff. You need to go. If you click on the dashboard itself, uh, you'll just see it so show your last report. If you click on the report, you can read your whole report. <coughs> are we Still crashing looking. now? I'm currently, I'm currently building um, leak tables as well of landing rates and errors and distances for last week and stuff. Probably last and all of that. Uh, don't you love it when your passengers have complete confidence in your flying capability? <laughs> you should see the confidence they've got in him and his bus driving capability. Very true. But Blue Ice Gaming, if you're still there, I, I, I crashed and burned on my landing, so... <clears throat> These things happen, these things happen. The Discord bot didn't pick up our landing though. Either of us. Oh, no, not that I can see. No. We might not be going high enough for the bot because I think the bot has because we don't have gear up and gear down. So I think if we don't go above turning off your landing lights and re-putting them on, it doesn't change our. Uh, okay. Like it says that we're on route, but because our landing phase, we don't have wheels down. It only picks up when you're taxiing. So basically, yep. once once you're on final approach, the bot has one minute to pick up final approach, landing, and taxi before you turn it off. That's how it has at times. I agree. <clears throat> uh, maybe because when we landed, we literally just stopped because it was a beach. <laughs> uh, well, Blue Eyes, like I said, I already crashed and burned on my one pretty badly. Pretty badly. And guys, we're doing quite well with the donations for the NHS. You can see that we're already up to, what, 30-something percent now? 37 percent, I believe. 76 euro has been donated so far by some of you guys, so look, well done. I'm going to leave it up there, like I said, for the kind of month, but we're going to really hammer it on uh, the last week of February. That's when I'm going to be ramming it down everyone's throats non-stop. Um, but yeah, we're looking good. Which yeah, channel in Discord the, uh, is that? Uh, Richard, what do you mean? Which channel in Discord is that? I'm not confused. I think he's talking about the landing. The landing bot? The, um, yeah. It's, it's under the SC control room, so every time you land, it pings. You can see who's flown, uh, where they left, where they gone, and what their distance was. <laughs> and there's a burning picture of my aircraft in there, too. Yeah, so Richard, so every time you actually land, the, the bot, you can see everybody landing. If you just click on that, you'll see everyone that's landed recently, where they've been and what they're doing. I thought it'd be a bit of fun. So uh, this looks like it's windy. <coughs> yeah. 21 knots. Where do I get delivery for the CJ4? Flights, uh, if it's for um, Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, flightsim.io. Just go to flightsim.io and type in simply connect and all deliveries will come up. 
if it's not on the Me website. Too, yeah, I'll, I'll get them linked to on the website. I just haven't. Done I do that yet. believe though the CJ4 when you download it, you have to open up the file. Don't just flow in the first file. Open up the first file and then you put it in. I think I, I uploaded it wrong. It's not the first one. So once you download it, you double click it before you drag it into your your file. I think you have to go inside it once and then you, you drag it across. Is there going to be a free built-in replay add-on for FS 2020? Yeah, but they're not looking at that until the end of 2021, beginning of 2022. But there is a guy who has made an add-on, um, which will be free. I know it's beta testing. I haven't heard anything since. Um, so people will make them as well. Um, but yeah, Microsoft won't... see that one. I didn't actually I like think you it can that much. Get a of it. Yeah, I, I actually didn't like it that much when I was watching the guy's video, like what it does. <coughs> I thought it was a bit awkward, but I don't know. Uh, no, I couldn't get a beater. I tried. I did try. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there will be. But yeah, they're looking at the end of the year, beginning of 2022. Depending on... You know, I mean, look, this first, this next stage has already been delayed by two weeks. So I think about that's probably going to be the norm now. You're going to find that things will get delayed a little bit. Priorities will be taken over by different things. I know there's a paid one at the moment. Is it, is it paid? I don't think there's a paid one. I, I thought it was free. Maybe it is paid. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Oh, you're downloading it now. Yeah, so Ryan, I think it's not the first file. You have to open the file once, then put it in. You have to play around with it. You'll get it working. It's either the first file or the second file, but I'm pretty sure it's the second file. <coughs> Eighteen euros for it. Is that what it is to, for the replay? Yeah, it's a rip-off. Absolute rip-off. Eighteen Jesus, euros. That's ridiculous. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> yeah, that, that's huge. But look, it, the problem is you can mark the price so high because everybody wants it. Yeah. That's that's the stupid thing. All it's doing is like OBS. It's just recording yourself, but you can just change your camera angles after the record. People will pay it, yeah. Well, I won't be one of them to pay that, that's for sure. I'm not paying that for, for a replay button. Sometimes it's best not to watch to my replays. According to the latest update from Microsoft or Sobo, it's in prototype this now with a 2021 release. There we go. <clears throat> and look, why would you pay that much when it's going to come out anyways? Yep. I know we all want to see how glorious our landings are or how bad they are, but it's going to come. I, I'd rather... I, I won't be paying it. Uh, Glenn's not doing it because he's a tight ass. <laughs> Any plans for a VAT sim stream? Yeah, there is plans for VAT sim. Uh, we'll, we will do it. Uh, I know Gil wants to do another co-pilot and he wants to demonstrate the VAT sim a lot. I don't, I don't enjoy VAT sim myself that much. Especially for streaming, like I said, you can be stuck in holds for a while. You can be waiting a while to get off the taxiways. And my streaming is kind of limited to a certain amount of time per evening. So that's why I don't yeah. do it as much. Um, because it'll always be my luck that I'm the one that's get held up for half an hour. Or it's always Unicom, otherwise. I always find that when it comes... I was on... Go on. I tried to... Um, I was on Batsim earlier. And I was trying to talk to the ground and ground couldn't hear me because they were having internet problems. So um, it was just all of us trying to get a hold of ground and nothing happening, which is, gets a bit frustrating. Yeah, look, that sim is a great idea for, for realism. Look, if you're just a sim and you're playing at home, it's great. You know, you can sit and hold in patterns for 15 minutes or whatever. It's realistic. Okay, it's great. But yeah, for me, that's where the problems come in because my timing for streams is limited. So I can't, I can't sit there waiting for 35 minutes to get off the ground or... Oh, then, like I said, you get the other problem, you're just on Unicom, and then it's just pointless. So that's why yeah. I, I do keep the pilot to ATC for the streams, only because I know what I'm getting. At least there's always, like, a response, or there's some sort of ATC there. And when you do these co-pilot stuff, sometimes it's better not to be on stuff as well, because it would be a mess. But look, look, we will do one. I will be doing one. Um, but look, we'll, see, we'll see how it goes. 
But it, that, that's why I people... Wait. Yeah, people always ask me for that too. you go. But that, that's my reason for what not doing it. Um, if there's one thing I would inv I would recommend investing in, it's Navigraph. It is, chart Fox is great, don't get me wrong, but Navigraph with its integration <laughs> in the apps and stuff is really good. Uh, see, Ross, the thing with Navigraphs is it's expensive, but you but you get your air rack cycles. Um, so eventually, Microsoft Flight Simulator will be moving to them, just like X Plane does. Um, it's not just my X Plane, you see, it's some of the aircraft have to be updated separately. Also, um, my pilot to ATC and all that kind of stuff, it all needs it to update the air rack cycles every month. Uh, and eventually, Microsoft Flight Sim is going to do the same. Now, the easy thing to do is when you're in, you're doing your sim brief, all you have to do is type in which air cycle that is on your aircraft, of course, but to, just for ease of it, and then having all your charts at, at hand, you can build your flight plans. There's so much you can do with it. Um, like I said, even for like the taxi and just to be able to see yourself on the map, you can't beat it, I don't think. Uh, I think it's probably the best investment. Definitely not. Yeah. If, if you're willing to pay 18 euros for a replay button, I definitely recommend getting your... <laughs> Navigraph subscriptions. Okay, guys, we're going to be making the final turn onto final. You have to buy the aircraft yep. separately, or when do you get them? Uh, so, Harvey, so what happens um, for the air cycles? Navigraph has an uploader, and every month you just click on it, and it updates all your aircraft to the latest Navigraph cycles, uh, your air cycles. For me, it, uh, like I said, it updates the TODIS is separate, the JAR is separate, X Plane's default is separate. Um, my sim uh, pilot to ATC uses it. There is another program I use uses it as well. So look, it's very handy. Will James is Mr. Vatsim now. Yeah, <laughs> he hasn't flown in a week. I do want the Navigraph no, for the live taxi, for the blue taxi. Is a, yeah, look, Ross, there's a lot that Navigraph will give you. You see, um, it's definitely worth it. Now, guys, this should have been my lovely landing on tarmac. Nice and smooth, yeah, light. I'm like right ahead of me. Um, but, but Andy decided to ball me up here. Although my, um, my, my frame rate is going down and down and down at the moment, so. Okay. Be a fun one. When do you need to do PU23F? Is that your approach, is it? That's my approach, yes. I'm just about to activate it. Okay. Once. Once you vat sim, you never go back. Uh, that's not true. I vat simmed and yeah, I don't go back. <laughs> like I said, for me, all the time. with streams and stuff, it can be difficult, like I've just announced, like, you know, holding patterns, waiting to get out. But my problem is, is I'm limited on time. But the biggest thing in vat sim is not enough airports are always active. You normally have your main ones, but I find that, like, the areas and stuff, like, Ireland only has Dublin normally. You might, you might get one or two occasionally, but... It's not regular enough, you know. How to hit your approach button. Have you already hit it? Yep. Okay, approach is... I've got. Okay, yeah. Glide slope is armed. Okay, perfect. That's going to bring you down. Uh, let me know about your flaps. Do you want some more flaps? I'm at flaps 10 the snow, so I'll take flaps 20. Yeah. Okay. Gonna bring down that speed now as well. I know some maps yeah, don't have the live taxi boat. feature. Is that me or doing something wrong? Uh, it's probably you doing something wrong. I might have to stream before I attempt it myself. <laughs> I just put 400 quid into flight simming and another 60 quid won't hurt, right? But you can pay monthly. 8 quid a month, it's, it's handy enough, like. Taking some flaps out, uh, speed is struggling here. Uh, yeah, cocktail. Yeah, look. That sim, like I said, if you're sitting at home and you're playing this for realism, it's, it's great. Like, when you're streaming, it can be... It can be hard work when you're under pressures for for time. Also for people, like people... You've also to, got to entertain an audience yeah, as well. They don't want to see me sitting in a holding pattern for 25 minutes. Like, we just covered two yeah. hours of chatting and now, and now I'm doing this, you know. Are you okay, Andy? I feel like we're going all over the place here. We are really going all over the place and I... Take, take the, the wind or if it's my controller. Take the throttle out. A hey, it's bit. Um, a bit more. Take more out. Take more out. There you go. Okay. Bit more out. Just take take the throttles out. You really want to be sitting around 75, 70. Bit more. 
Gonna level itself out. Take a little bit more out. Okay, I'm gonna give you the next notch of flaps. It's gonna rise its nose, but it'll fix itself quickly. But yeah, you'll just have to judge it with a little bit more throttle. There you go, that's all right, keep it there. A bit more, a bit more. And it'll pick it back up once the nose drops, you see. There you go. Yep. You need to take some of that throttle. It's okay, it's okay. It's leveling itself out now. There we go. Hi. Yeah, it, sh it should bring itself down. Okay, take out your throttles. We won't touch the flaps again now. So this is your landing speed. Get ready for now. Yeah. Boom. Windy, windy. Remember, RNAV will disengage itself if you don't already disengage it. So I'll leave it yep. up to you. Yeah, I'm just getting ready to. It's just very windy, and I'm getting more and more judder every second. Yeah, this is a windy one. Jesus. Your God. Let me know if you need me to take over. <laughs> Not that I can do anything to help I, you here. I literally, my, I'm juddering so much, I can't, the runway's just okay. a lot to me at the moment. Uh, okay, I request the control. You can try it. What's it like of yours? I just, I've just disengaged the, uh, the autopilot. Oh, Jesus, we're going to go crashing down to the ground. Oh, this is some serious wind. I am literally, it's just shaking all over the place. I can't actually see anything. I, I, I can't control, I can't I, even control the aircraft myself, mate. And I actually have the nose high up in the air as well. I, oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to crash and burn this one before the runway. I think so. Come on, come on, come on. I can't, the wind is just... flat out. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We, we, we've got it under control again, I think. Crabbing is a bit intense. Oh my god, oh my god. A serious, serious win. Ah! Dear lord, wow. Well recovered. Is that my reverse is kicking in? Jesus Christ. Okay, that was not fun. At all. Literally, that was about five frames a second for me. <sighs> what was the landing rate? Yep. 18. That was incredible, well done. That was ridiculous. I don't even I think that was your fault. You how, uh, the wind was... I wish I could show you how chuddery it is in my screen now. I wonder if that's just because the wind was so strong. I think it was the wind and because I'm... Because you're a master. Jesus. Uh, Brett, what a beaut. Uh, that was not a beaut and also <laughs> you missed my first set and fire landing. Okay, so next time we don't pick windy Scotland for this. <laughs> we don't use real weather. <laughs> no one can ever say, oh, he, he, he doesn't use weather. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So that, that was uh, 20 knots from the east, that wind was. Friggin' hell. Where, where is even the airport here? It's fear of great. How the hell did you bloody get to it? Oh, I should have gone off the end of the runway there. Uh, yeah, just cut across the grass. There was an improvement. The plane, yeah, the plane is still working just yeah. That's true. Yeah, even with the runway though, that wind was too intense. It was nuts. Like this aircraft pulls a lot as it is. 
That was a, uh, yeah, that was something else. Yeah, I'd probably say that the 20 knot crosswind was too much for this. It probably shouldn't have. We'd actually checked the weather in real life. I don't think they would have landed it with 20 knots. We should have done. There you go. That's how important it is to check your weather when you're doing live. <laughs> Next time we'll, we'll stick to mainland England. What I would like to do the Twin Otto is to do the Southampton to London Airport. Yeah, we can do that next week. And he has two landings to make up with. I feel like we're tail heavy now as well because we're. Uh, I feel like we're falling that backwards. We're not, but it feels like it. Twenty-eight point five is our mark. Yeah, that was nuts. Beyond another level. Oh. Easy peeps. You can definitely see how bad that landing was now. What was the actual minus 343 it says on ACARS? I think we can take that. Thanks so, for that wind, yep. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Let's bring up... Have you sorted out your ACARS before I, I do it? Yeah, yeah, I've finished it, yep. UK's blowing a gale tonight, lads. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently in uh Yeah, probably doing live weather in Scotland this evening probably wasn't the, the best idea. Oh my god, I can just see the mess as it is. <laughs> yeah, should maybe have checked should maybe have checked the um Amber warning. Oh my god. Jesus. That's a proper landing challenge, that one is. Just went inside to get a beer. Whose idea was it to at least get a chilled beer? Yeah, I, I left like all the coke and stuff in the boot of the car. It's colder than my fridge. Ah, look at this, look at this. Oh, it's, it's ridiculous. You're almost at that 90 degree angle. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, oh. tail strike. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, definitely next time check the weather before flying. Yeah, that was a uh, my bad. Do you know what? You were almost bang on. You were on the piano keys. You were almost bang on that touchdown zone. So There's that bit then. <clears throat> That's too fast coming in then. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, we blew a tire though. Yeah, I've crashed. At least we're not on fire. Yeah. It should all come really in a different way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to give this plane a go. I think I'll stick to the Airbus. Uh, I don't think it's the plane, Brett. It was the the twenty knot crosswind was too much. We didn't check the weather. Like like uh, Blue Ice has just said, we probably should have come on a different runway if we actually checked our weather. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but mistakes have been made already. But we're down. But yeah, a little wheel on that wing would have been great for the two landings. <clears throat> I would have been okay then. Uh, but look, guys. Um, yeah, at least the co-pilot worked this time, m mainly, until till the end bit. Yeah, which is a bit dodgy for me. But apart from that, it was okay. I think if it was more calm, I think it would have been fine for you if you're kind of going straight in yeah, like yeah, an Airbus so. or something. <clears throat> um, but yeah, not too bad. So look, we will take this out again at some point in the near future, and we'll get Andy uh, landing it. Also, want to get Andy landing the dash. That that also needs to happen at some point. Good old dash eight. Just out to make me look like a fool, aren't you? 
Actually, Gil, Gil's, Gil's the master, and he says he'll land anything, so I'll, maybe I'll get Gil out on the Dash 8 with me. Yeah, that seems like a plan, yep. And he has to land at London Airport. Nice short runway. No floating. <laughs> oh, well, that was fun. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you, everyone. And I'll catch you next time. Yeah, guys, look. Thank you all for watching. All the mods, members, Harvey Young, Spaghetti Raver, Brett just turned up there. Uh, Kurt is hard. Uh, Brendan Cross, Richard, Bart, Will, James. I'm trying to see everyone I can very quickly. Richard, Glenn B. Gaming. If anyone wants to go watch him land, a lot better than what we probably did. Uh, <laughs> he's also live right now. I think he's in the NHS livery as well. Ryan, thank you, mate, for hanging out. And everybody else, Dice Gaming. I don't know who else I've missed. I probably missed a few of you guys. Do apologize. Thanks to Andy for hanging out again, as always. Yeah, Thank actually, you very much. Actually, Good fun. actually worked this time. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you tomorrow night. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Night.